probably can't tell that it's me, but it's uh, James Blair's Lynx manager here, and uh, I'm disguised in a bee suit <laughs> of our latest venture uh, with uh, my new friend Kate, who Kate lives to the left hand side of 18. Kate's uh, kept bees for quite a few years and uh, approached me a while back to see if we fancied uh, keeping bees on this side of the course. So she's generously donated a hell of a lot of her time, uh, our passion and, uh, and knowledge, and she's trying to teach me as well about it, which is quite interesting. But we've had the hives open a few times, but today uh, we're gonna kind of make a little video about taking you a little bit closer into the hive and seeing how it all works, and Kate's gonna explain it. So over to you, Kate. Do the best that I can, yes. So today, we're going to look at this hive. It's a new queen. She's this year's queen, and I've marked her green for 2024. All beekeepers that have new queens this year will use the green marker to mark her. So hopefully, with a little green pen or something. Yeah, yep. with a green pen. So hopefully we'll see her today. Can you tell us why we've got the smoker, kit? The smoker lets the bees know that we're here. It's a sort of a little alarm system. We don't use it heavily, we just let them know there's somebody here. They think it's an emergency, so they're going to go in and collect the honey, thinking they may have to vacate, vacate the hive. Excellent. So what I'm going to do is take off this upper box. It's called the super, and it's where the bees store their honey. I don't want to look at that just now. I want to go down to the lower box, which is called the brood box, where the queen is where she lays her eggs, up to two and a half thousand eggs a day. That's quite light, that's okay. So we'll just put it at an angle. She won't like it. So this is the queen extruder, and before I put it down, I'm gonna check that the queen is not on it. All of those bees are worker bees, female. They look after the honey, they look after the queen. They clean out all those little cells to prepare them for storing pollen, eggs. She has slowed down, I can see, in her laying. This is all brood. The height of the season is April, May and June. Oh, I don't know. 30,000 bees on this. At the height of the season, it's about 60,000. This so what, what's this part called, Kate? This is called the super. And in the super, we keep shorter frames that store the honey. And we, the queen is not able to get up to this because we don't want her laying in amongst the honey stores. Mm -hmm. And how long do you think it would take from a, a, a fresh green to go in until you had honey? They can do it in a week. Oh, as fast as that. And they, you call that a flow mm -hmm. when uh, all the flowers are in bloom and there's a great flow of pollen and nectar. So what, one thing I noticed, especially we're at the left-hand side of 18 just now, we've had lots of cats here and here, which I take it as a very good pollinating plant for them. Yes. Uh, and the cats here really comes out when it's sunny and then it goes away when it's cloudy. So you would see, I mean, ideal bee-making weather when the sun's out, I'm guessing. Yes, much more so, definitely. They don't like the rain. So she's laying well, so as you can see, lots of brood. 